Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Lone Pine Brewing Company and they are based out of Portland, Maine. Apparently they're also in Gorham, Maine. And this is their Pumpkin Party. I have not had anything from Lone Pine uh, in years, I can honestly say years. So, very interested to try a pumpkin beer from them. So as I mentioned, this is a pumpkin ale brewed with pumpkin and spices. It's coming in at 4.2% ABV. And in the back, they have a little spiel. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Brewed with real pumpkin and a carefully curated blend of seasonal spices. Pumpkin Party Pumpkin Ale is an ode to the Northeast's favorite season. Hit the patch, bring a glass, and revel in the wistful flavors of fall. Unfiltered, unpasteurized, because all good things are wild and free. It says craft beers are better fresh. Live yeast may settle. Yeah, right. Don't be trashy. Please drink responsibly. Nice. This was canned on 7-20-23, which makes this just under two months old at the time of this review by literally one day. It would be two months old tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. Well, 4.2%. I think I can make sure I won't be trashy and drink responsibly. There was a recycle symbol next to it. That's what they meant by that, but you know. trying to remember what I had from Lone Pine last. I, I haven't had a lot from Lone Pine, but... Ooh, I can smell that from here. So that pours out a nice... dark amber color. Um, I heard... No Hype Beer Reviews explain Amber being, you know, what he would see from Jurassic Park with the little mosquito in it. I'm like, yeah, that's a good way of determining amber coloration. So yeah, this would be a dark amber. One finger of off-white to khaki, rocky head, I would say. I'm using my Southern Tier pumpkin glass like I have done for most of these pumpkin reviews this October. All right, let's get a whiff. Like I said, I was smelling that out of the can. Alright, I'm getting spices, but what dominates is more of like the, the base ale. Um, it's a bit of a sour uh, note, um, along with, I feel like I'm getting a, a touch of a metallic fragrance. Yeah, definitely metallic. But underneath that sourness and the metallic notes, um, I'm getting the spices. Let's see if I could pick out what the spices they are. I 
cinnamon and clove. I don't know if I'm really getting any nutmeg. No, all I can really get is cinnamon and clove. This has been out of my fridge probably for a good half hour now, so it's warmed up a good bit too, so I, I would expect to get many notes out of this. Well, let's see what we get uh, on the taste here. Cheers. I'm going to say that's a, a light body. I mean, there's some good head retention on this, for sure. Yeah, beautiful lacing. Boy, this flavor is reminding me of something I can't put my fingers on, but... Um, let me say mild carbonation, light body. All right, the flavors here. In terms of the pumpkin beer-ness of this, I'm primarily just getting spices. That's what I'm getting. I know what I'm getting. All right. I'm getting definitely cinnamon. I'm getting the clove. And I'm getting a bit of ginger. When I get ginger in these beers, sometimes it's not very obvious to me. I forget what <laughs> that is. Um, the only other time I really have ginger is if I'm having sushi. Yeah, the cinnamon and clove are up front. Midway through, you get the, uh, that ginger. And then it immediately just kind of like fades away and fades away quickly. And it, you're kind of left, I don't want to say watery, but it's very light and non-flavorful. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think I am going to say watery. <laughs> I'm going to say it's watery. It is very spritzy, though. well carbonated. It's refreshing for a pumpkin beer. But I'm not getting any gourd notes, any pumpkin notes. I'm not getting any vanilla, any uh, yeah, crust kind of notes. It's just light spice and then it fades off quick and you're just left with watery, non-flavorful notes. All right, Lone Pine Pumpkin Parte. I'm giving this a 3.3, .3, nah, a 3.2 out of five. Um, this one's not for me, unfortunately. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Oh, I should also note 4.3%. I mean, I guess it is as light as a 4.3%. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know if you've had this before and what did you think of it. Until next time, peace.